Alrighty, good morning, people. I'm gonna do a quick update of where we are and where we stand with this thing here. First and foremost, let's do some some quick overview of what what tools I've been using for this. Um, got a couple of questions in my last videos. By the way, thank you everybody for all the new subs and, and all the comments and all that stuff. You find going up. Really appreciate that. Um, Artismo, I'm going to start there with you first and show you here. As we cut the pieces off, we just stack them up, and that's how we, we do our work. And we want to uh, make sure our edges are straight and all. Let's grab the square and follow it all along there. Okay. Last Crimson uh, live stream, I was all excited because this came in the mail. Uh, my first real tool, Merrick's, uh, while uh, kind of disappointed, I gotta say. It's really well made, beautiful tool. Um, it's a lot more coarse than was explained in, in, in uh, the description of it, and uh, it, it really it, it, it acts away some wood when you put the pressure on it, but with my wobbly bench and nothing, no vice or anything to hold it, kind of makes it awkward. So, kind of, kind of useless for what we got going here. Um, what I found works best so far is, is simply sandpaper, shaping blocks, and to get. Uh, my nice rounded innards here. Big old fat sharpie. Wrap it with your sandpaper. And basically, you can roll it for the wider side to get the, you know how you get the um, groove in there that gets deeper than the flat spots. You can kind of roll it with the wider side and, and not get that round valley like you get with a, a rat tail file or something like a half round or something like that. That seems to work great. Just that little bit of change. You got your your tighter angle here for for getting in in tight, and then for rounding, you just kind of lay it over on this side and spread out your your radius a little bit so you don't get the get some flat spots in there. Um, getting into the round parts here, I tried the, the rasp and. Uh, wasn't working, so I've been chiseling out as, as much as I can as I got room. But I'm getting to the point where um, I'm driving in, I'm going to start poking the wood I want to keep. So we're done with that. Next stage is I'm going to take it outside and, and basically I'm going to take the round part here and cut that out with a Dremel. Cut this piece off with a the big saw again, real quick. Knock that down. I'll get all the rounding done with the, the drum will get it close so I can get it ready to be finished and all. The edges on here turned out beautiful. After a little bit of sanding you get the saw marks out of it. Nice and smooth. I wet it down last night and cleaned all the dust out of it so this is actually what it looks like, the wood. So smooth. I still got a little bit of a look I can feel here. We need to touch up but we're getting there. So, the plan is to get this finished shaped and, and, and ready for doing the cutouts for the pickups and, and everything else. Now this, you know, I talked about doing the airbrush painting on uh, the surface of this and uh, kind of draw them with uh, kinds of ideas. I put the bike in there got all the hardware that sits in here and just destroys the look of it and it just you won't see the bike so that kind of makes it useless so I thought maybe if I move move the, 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 the bike up to the top and use the top half as a scene we have like the base of the road running down along the, the pickups and then um, do like grass and desert and then do 3d it out with clouds and stuff like that and some hills off in the distance and all that and I was like okay that, that might work but uh, I bought new needles for, for my cheapy airbrush, my airbrushes here, 
they, they work great. The Master Series is, is, is not a bad beginner set. It, work, it works nice. But uh, I bought a, a three pack of, of needles, so I've got three three airbrushes I have access to. Uh, this one is a point two. Uh, swap this one over to point five for doing larger areas. And I've got my friend's Iwat up there that's a point three. Now, as best as I can, and I'll show this later, I uh, have been practicing, but I this is not stable enough with uh, the one of the air compressor and stuff to uh, get steady, stable, super fine lines that I would need to draw with IPD out right now. Uh, it's just it's just not in the cards, and I don't want to destroy you know, a, a big piece of beautiful wood like this, doing the relief carve and then trying to airbrush something that I physically can't do with the limitations of brush and my skill there. So, we'll save that idea for a later date and uh, we'll go from there. But once again, thanks again to everybody who has subbed and, 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 and following and, and commenting and watching. It's it really, really appreciate appreciated. I've already surpassed just on this body, it's three videos for the body, it's the best anything I did with my entire DVDO for the last year. So, much appreciated. And I will close this up and go outside and film me trying to get out with a jumbo later. Okay, so, quick update. About ready to go outside and do some uh, sanding and finish this up and get ready to move on to the carving and, and all that stuff the pickups and, and the body curve and some rounding edges but this is where we stand with the the, the body blank so far uh, gotta sand that edge down get that nice and rounded and again carve the cuts there are nice Part up here. I have to do that with a Dremel. I can't get in there with a chisel, and the rasp is, is, is just not coarse enough. I'm not sure, you see this. I'm not sure what's going on with the grain there, but it doesn't want to, want to cut that. Cut this long so I can adjust to the bolt on that. That's uh, this all all finalized and we have a little bit of a ridge right here I'm going to straighten out and uh, we're starting to look like a guitar the edge green on this is, is, is just gorgeous so really loving how this is, is turning out Not bad for a free-handed drawing, just going off the measurements from the interwebs. Does that look gorgeous? Look at that. Alright, time to go freeze my butt off. It's 43 degrees out and it's May 28th. Unbelievable. Anyway, time to get busy. Okay, here we go. All the shaping is done. I've got the first uh, level of sanding at 150 and a second at 180 and uh, remark my center line so I don't lose it but the shape is now officially cut and sanded so let's take a look at this <clears throat> and straight and smooth beautiful beautiful wood grain now it looks a little fuzzy because just before I started filming this I wet it all down to get the, the dust off it and we all know what that does
but all the hard work is done. So now it's a matter of figuring out what I want to do with doubles and belly cars and whitening and, and all that stuff. This was the hardest spot to get. For some reason the grain on that was really, really weird. And uh, even even the uh, Narix rasp barely touched it. So I ended up sitting outside for about 20 minutes today with the Dremel and the sanded drum. Did shaping and then um, did all the sanding. And like I said, I just got done, wiped it all down. one gorgeous piece of lumber. I really, really hate painting this, but we have a plan, set in motion, it is what it is, so worst comes to worst, I can always sand it back and just do it natural later, but for now, plan is still on to make a, a Lizzie Hale copy. So, alright, I'm going to edit this video and get it posted today, so, have fun, make some dust, I sure did. <laughs>